Welcome to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get to know each time I upload a new video. Another exciting video. This video is very exciting because I will be talking about the Chanel mini pouch. It looks like this. Comes in a pouch. And the pouch just says Chanel on it, like that. And that's it there. I got it in the gold hardware and the um, caviar leather. So that's the grainy leather instead of the smooth leather. It comes in different leathers. Um, so yes, the dimensions are 9.5 by 15 by one centimeter with the gold tone hardware. And the zip is also gold toned. It has that leather attachment to the zipper and it slides very nicely. It just opens up to a burgundy interior and that's it there. I've got the authenticity card in here. So it is currently empty. And so I want to show you what I use this for and what you can fit into this mini old pouch. 750 Australian dollars. What? Large amount of money for a little case. Of course, you can always get um, non-designer cases. <laughs> But on this particular day, I just felt like splurging. So yes, here we are today. Now, um, I use this wallet for many different reasons. Um, it fits perfectly in small bags, big bags. It fits anywhere I want it to. And on some occasions when I'm in a rush and I'm getting out of the car and I just need like a catch all to run into the store. So I will put a few things in here that I need for about an hour or two. So, and it fits everything. So yes, I will show you what I would put in here. It can also take place of a wallet. Instead of carrying my wallet, I'll put a few cards. Got some cards. And let's see how they fit in here. On this particular day, I want to carry my AirPods and I'll just slide them in there on the corner, just like that. And of course I need my keys. I didn't bring my car keys. So let's just use this key for, as an example. So let's squish that in there, <laughs> put it on the other side. And we still have a bit of room as you can see, but we have to be careful because the width doesn't really allow you to put a whole lot in here. It is different compared to the um, mini pochette, which I will show you a comparison of that another time. That one is from Louis Vuitton, but anyway. Um, so now let's say on this particular day, I want to carry a lip product. So I've got my Mac, Lipstick here, this is Ruby Roo, that red. Anyway, the thing about carrying a red lip is that <laughs> at any point you wanna look a bit dressier. If you put on a red lip, you automatically look like you put in a lot of effort. Okay, anyway, that's beside the point. So that's it there. Let's say, oh, let's see if I can fit my hand cream. This particular one is from L'Occitane. As you can see, let's see if it'll close. Hopefully it will. <laughs> it's up to you how much you want to stretch out your little pouch. But yeah, I would say I've got all my essentials. Of course, my phone will never fit in this size pouch. And you've got some things sticking out there. I don't really mind. So I'll be out and running around with it like this. Let's say you want to carry some tissues. I would carry this instead because um, it's 
it would fit but then what's the point of that right so instead i've got these two wet wipes that i can squeeze in there just like that and let's say i love my gum but i can't obviously carry the whole thing because all my space will be gone so i'll have to take some out let's say two like this put them in there and now we've got some gum let's say you want to carry some women's stuff some sanitary stuff as well um, you've got that thing there if you don't know what it is then you don't need to know this and just put it in there and let's say you are feeling like carrying a fragrance this particular one is the Versace Parfum in the smaller atomizer anyway I'll put that in there and push it down I mean I'm not really running anywhere for too long with just this small pouch anyway I like to be very prepared so um, if I'm gonna be out for too long then I'm carrying a bag but if it's a quick run in and out then this should be fine I mean why would you need a perfume but instead of this you could also put in these perfume samples so these small little samples they go in you've got your fragrance in them and let's say you want a lippy this one as an option let's put that in there it fits but again i'm trying to make room so we're going to take that one out let's try this one instead let's see how that works yes it fits but again i want to create more room so instead of these ones i would probably put a lippy that is able to squish and form in the back okay so that takes up less room and let's say i feel like carrying a compact mirror for whatever reason i honestly check yourself before you leave the car but on this particular occasion i want to carry my compact mirror so i will just rearrange everything in there make room and we have got our compact mirror let's just try to close this for a little bit okay so that fits in fine hand sanitizer which we need these days any day especially these days so um i had to take out that compact mirror because obviously that this is not going to fit in there with it in let's try and see there you go you've got your sanitizer honestly let's say i need one bank card and i've got my car key and we are good to go so you see you just gotta shuffle things around in there and find what fits with you when you've had this for a while i mean you know what goes in and what can't go in so you won't need to fiddle for a long time so yes this is great you can use it as a wallet as well in your um, handbag um, or a catch-all for all the random things or yes whatever tickles your fancy at the moment i'm also using it as a catch-all for my lip products in my bag or a small pen because i don't want any of those things leaking into my handbags so yes that is the mini pouch from chanel mini all pouch that is my review of the mini chanel all pouch um, would I say it's worth it? Yes, I do think it's worth it. But if you want to save money, then go ahead and find something similar and use it. But as you know, Chanel pieces go up in price. So if you buy this and you take care of it, you might be able to resell it in the future or not. 
I don't intend on doing that. So yes, I will be keeping this one. And I particularly chose the caviar leather because it's more durable and I know that whatever happens in the bag, it might get scratched or whatever. Um, this type of leather is more durable than the lambskin. And as I mentioned, this pouch comes in all shapes and sizes, colors, and different types of leathers. So go ahead and have a look on the Chanel website or go in store and check out um, all the other designs. I chose the classic style just because um, maybe next time it'll be a different type of um, leather or design. So yes, I now have this as part of my SLG, my small leather goods collection of Chanel accessories. I am glad that you sat through this whole video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a comment about anything that's on your mind regarding this video or any questions. Um, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.